Hello, Geminis. This is your reading for the 4th through the 5th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So what's going on for Gemini. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. All right. Here we go. Oh, I've got three. Oh, okay. So we've got the Two of Cups. We've got the Emperor. And we've got the magician out the gate. All right. Some of you, um, I feel like there's somebody that you're smitten with. Um, I think you're really trying to hold yourself back from really kind of communicating about this. Really trying to like, you know, just, just jump into it with both feet. I think you're trying to be like really kind of strategic about it. Um, because you don't want to... You don't want to, um, you know, really just come off really strong and and um, really aggressive. So you're just kind of like, you know, you're kind of taking it easy breezy right now, okay? But you feel confident that um, you got this under wraps, all right? Here with the magician standing in your power. Feeling very confident that you have this under wraps here. Maybe an Aries cancer individual that you guys are thinking about, okay? Hmm. Let's see. Seven of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of confident, but it's like you kind of go back and forth with it. Because I think, you know, a lot of you are wondering, you know, if this individual may have someone else, um, what they're doing, if they would even be happy with you. Do they see you the same way? But I, I strongly get that this person sees you the same way that you see them. Okay? And some of you, you know, even though you have these feelings for this individual, there's still a piece of you that does not want to let go of, you know, what else may be out there. Okay? Because you don't really want what I get is get settled down or locked down with someone that um, that's really not for you or there may be someone that's better suited for you out there okay king of pentacles here hmm mm -hmm. yeah a lot of you are really trying to hold yourself back from this person maybe this is somebody from your past and you really, you can't deny the feelings. That's the thing. I think a lot of you are trying to, though. I think a lot of you are trying to be, you know, kind of stubborn around this. Um, like you're not really wanting to see what, what it is that you, is evident here. Okay. And as I say, you're not really wanting to see what is evident here. Then the moon shows up. Hidden feelings. Deep feelings. Something that has not been revealed. And I think that, um, you know, it's undeniable for you. But I don't really think you're that comfortable with it. I think that it's almost like you're kind of being, it's being shoved in your face at this point. Like you cannot turn away from what it is that you're feeling. It's right smack dab in your face. A lot of you too, I feel like you're dealing with issues um, with your mother. Uh, maybe some of you have felt like, you know, you were held back a lot by your mother or there's something the relationship was not that um, was kind of domineering even and so there's something about this person I feel that is it reminds you of your mother for some of you guys okay there's something about this individual that reminds you of your mother and um, it, it creates this level of uh, you know discomfort in you is what I'm getting here let's see seven of wands yeah yeah I feel like you guys are um, it's like you you feel like you feel like this would be successful but I don't 
know if you really truly feel that you can manifest this there's some confusion here there's some disillusionment here um, maybe you feel like this person does not have any feelings for you, for you anymore maybe you feel like you know you can't make this happen that they've blocked you out some kind of way whether they have physically like blocked you from um, their social media page blocked your phone number whatever that may be um, there's something that I feel that you guys you know you're not that confident that this can actually uh, happen you know I feel like a lot of you are really trying to hide your feelings because you, it makes you feel vulnerable is what I'm getting here it makes you feel truly vulnerable six of cups yeah for a lot of you this is like something to do with your mother um, like the issues from when you were a child um, there, there's something here but also with this person this is your soulmate okay and I feel like a lot of you have walked away I feel like a lot of you it was Gemini that actually walked away because I feel like this person was maybe a little too aggressive um, maybe maybe they reminded you a lot of your mother and some of the issues that you had with your mother even when you were younger but this is somebody that you have really deep feelings for and they have really deep feelings for you this is somebody that loves you okay I feel like there's a lot of secrets in the relationship there is a lot being held back here this is somebody that you have shared a lot of time with, a lot of good memories with here. Okay. Scorpio energy here, Pisces, Leo, um, Aries, and Cancer here. Okay. Two of Swords. Yeah, you just really don't know what to do right now because it's like you're really not wanting to see. You're really not wanting to deal with your feelings here for this individual. But I think it goes way deeper than that, okay? This person reminds you of your parent, your mother, is what I'm getting here. And this is not going to resonate for a lot of you. But I'm getting strongly this for some of my Geminis. Some of you need to hear this. This person scares you because they remind you of, of something dealing with your parent okay that happened when you were little situations maybe you felt really um, held down felt like a thumb was always on you and I think this person reminds you of that they come across as aggressive controlling even is what I'm getting here and I think that you know you guys are probably you know not communicating and if you are is not is not the greatest of communication here a lot is not being said a lot is being hidden here okay this is very being very indecisive about what to do about this person being very indecisive and very defensive very defensive where they're concerned okay then you have the will of fortune um, this is changes okay so you in, in depend and depending on what it is that you are doing or have done um, it just depends on what you've done what you get out of this okay and that's just the bottom line you know what you want you go for it but this is all about changing cycles changing the wheel turning, spinning out old things, bringing in new things and all of that. And I feel like this soulmate is coming back around. There's some unfinished business here, uh, my Gemini's for sure. Any fixed sign here, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy, I feel. Maybe Libra's here as well. And any of the other signs that I mentioned previously, okay? So I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.